corporate balance sheets right now, um, cash short-term securities represent about 30% of GDP. And as uncertainty eases, that money gets put to work. Share buyback, dividend payouts, M&A activity, and importantly, investment. So that should uh, continue to support the Canadian economy and broaden out beyond just the consumer sector. But the consumer sector in Canada is still going to play a key role in growth through 2022. Canadian consumers in better shape now than pre-COVID. Debt to income ratio is elevated, but it's lower than pre-COVID levels. We look at the net wealth in the household sector, given the strength in housing and equity, about two and a half trillion dollars have accumulated since COVID kicked in. And then finally, excess savings by our calculation, consumers are sitting on about $300 billion in excess savings. Those savings, some of it will remain in savings, some of it debt reduction, and obviously some of it gets spent. This content is based on information available at the time it was recorded and is for informational purposes only. It is not an offer to buy or sell or a solicitation and no recommendations are implied. It is outside the scope of this communication to consider whether it is suitable for you and your financial objectives.